Uh, so this is called The Dark Side of Hansel and Gretel. It is a Sharon novel that was, I think it was like three weeks ago now that it was translated. I just haven't gotten around to reading it yet, so I'm going to dive into it. It's, I mean, it's about Hansel and Gretel, so it's like a brother and sister and fucked up shit happens. You know how it goes. Fucked up shit happens. This work contains scenes of violence. Do not play if you're under 15 years old. 15? Really? This story is a work of fiction. There's no blah 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 Sharon. Once upon a time, a poor woodcutter's family lived in a cabin on the edge of the forest. The woodcutter and his wife had two children, the wise older brother Hansel and the lovely younger sister Gretel. This better not delve into some like weird wincest shit. They were so poor that they could not afford to eat every day. Then, one evening, as soon as one of as soon as the two children were asleep, the wife said to the woodcutter, At this rate, all four of us will surely starve to death. We'd better abandon the children deep in the forest. What? In order to reduce the number of mouths to feed, she suggests to abandon Hansel and Gretel in the forest. What a shit mom. The fuck? The woodcutter reluctantly agreed that when morning arrived, he would put the terrible plan into action. Hansel, who happened to overhear their conversation, stroked Gretel's forehead as she slept peacefully and nodded in determination. I've got to protect Gretel. He slipped through the window and spent the night collecting white pebbles from the roadside. Eventually, morning came and the children were given small loaves of bread to eat. The children, along with the woodcutter and his wife, headed into the forest. They arrived at a deep, deep place inside the forest. Ansel and Gretel had been collecting twigs. That's me! And, <laughs> and now, uh, now, go and wait by the fire so that you won't get cold. Papa and Mama are going to chop some wood nearby, okay? The woodcutter's wife told them to rest by the fire. Ansel and Gretel were tired and fell asleep by the warm fire. When they woke up, it was already completely dark. The woodcutter and his wife were nowhere to be seen. The children were left alone in the woods, just as the woodcutter's wife had planned. Where did Papa and Mama go? Are we left behind? Oni Tan. What should we do? Gretel's scared. It's alright, don't worry, said Hansel, patting Gretel on the head. Yes. As he walked through the forest, Hansel had put down the white pebbles he had collected last night. Really? You're so amazing, Onitan. With Onitan, there's nothing to be afraid of. They decided to follow the pebbles to get out of the forest. Smart kid. Onitan, let's go back home quickly. Gretel's stomach is rumbling already. Click on the map to explore and escape from the forest with Gretel. Oh, this is like a click adventure map. All right. You can talk to Gretel by clicking on her. Gray smoke was rising from the smoldering embers of the campfire. Weird. The flame was crackling bright just a while ago. Some strange smoke is coming out too. Won't it be bad to breathe it in? Probably. It's the rock I was sitting on a while ago. It was bumpy and uncomfortable to sit on. Onitan, you let Gretel sit on the less bumpy one, didn't you? Thanks, Onitan. I love you. Blech. I rummage around the bushes. There doesn't seem to be anything useful. Onitan, what are you doing? Shall Gretel look for it together? Bye. So, there's nothing in here. There's nothing in there. Too bad. Wouldn't it be nice if there was, uh, something interesting in there? Uh, I mean, yeah? Many tall trees are lined up in a row. They're just the right size for Papa to chop up and bring home. Wow, that's a big tree. One day we'll become big like Papa and be able to cut down such a huge tree. Probably not. Onitan, what's wrong? You're staring at Gretel so much. Maybe, Onitan, are you scared? Don't worry, Gretel will always be with you, okay? If anything happens, Gretel will protect Onitan, okay? Saying Onitan this much makes me uncomfortable. Well, we might as well just head down in the forest then. Proceed onwards? Yes. It's all very creepy. I wonder what would happen if I was all alone. Onitan, you're all spaced out. What's wrong? Is there something in the middle of the forest? Don't leave Gretel all alone, okay? If Onitan abandons Gretel, she'll cry. Yeah, don't worry, bud. I got you, fam. 
I got you, fam. Don't worry, bud. Fuck, bud. The pebbles I dropped before have fallen on the trail. What a relief. Like this, we'll be able to go home. Onitan's marks, they're still here. Gretel wants to become as smart as Onitan in the future. And you know, when Gretel becomes super duper smart, Gretel's going to marry Onitan. No, let's keep going. Yep, we're proceeding. Let's go, boys. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, look, Onitan, there's a bunny. How cute. Gretel wants to touch it. It looks fluffy and yummy. Yummy! Don't eat the bunny. Yusa provides save points for the whole nation. Yusa is a bunny that can speak Japanese. Amazing. You can save at any time by clicking the rabbit button on the bottom right corner. Wow, yummy! Hey, Onitan, can we eat the save bunny? Gretel's tummy is hungry. No, we can't say we. You, USA, USA, USA. Usa doesn't taste good at all. Usa, don't forget I can help you save. Usa. Cheap. You see these pebbles? Follow those and quickly go back home. Cheap. For the love of God, don't take the wrong road. Cheap. What awaits at the end of the wrong road? Cheap is death. Onitan, doesn't this bird look tasty? Let's quickly catch it and get some grilled meat. Boy, this bitch hungry as fuck. Help me, I'm sorry. This is another path. We won't make it back home unless we follow the pebbles. Onitan, that's not the way home. Or do you want to live together with Gretel in the middle of the forest? Living together with Onitan. Gretel doesn't mind at all. This is really weird. Okay, so I, I just have to follow the pebbles. It won't let me not follow them. Proceed onwards? Yes. The flowers smell really sweet. Gretel loves the smell of flowers. Onitan, of course, you like it too, right? Yeah, sure. Next time, Gretel will make a flower crown for Onitan as a present. Then, we'll play make-believe together. Onitan can be the prince, and Gretel will be the princess. That's so weird. No, brother and sister don't do that. <laughs> Kay Kona. The forest is dimly lit. If you don't pay attention, the shadows of the trees look like ghosts. It's getting windy. Can we hold hands? Squeeze, like this. We'll never get separated for sure. White flowers are blooming in the meadow. Look, look, Onitan, flowers are blooming. It's beautiful. Can we take some back home? Mama loves flowers, so she'll be happy for sure. Yes, here's one for you too, Onitan. Thanks, I guess. Proceed onwards, yes. Onitan, look, over there, we made it home. Let's go home. Thank goodness, now we can see Papa and Mama again. I'm so happy. There's a splendid wooden bridge built over the stream. It was built by Papa because it was inconvenient for him to get his feet wet every time. Hey Onitan, where did you find these pebbles? Gretel wants to collect them together with you. No. This is a stream running near the house. The water is too muddy to be used as drinking water. Boil it. The Gretel reflected in the water looks a bit mean. Onitan, what do you look like reflected in the water? Your mom. Got him. It's dimly lit, but it looks like the sun will be coming out soon. How long have we been walking in the woods? Ooh, for some reason, Gretel's getting sleepy. Let's hurry and get to bed and sleep together, Onitan. Oh God, please stop. The sign says Woodcutter's House. It's the house where the four of us, me, Gretel, Papa, and Mama, live together. Papa and Mama are already asleep, it seems. Let's play a prank on them, Onitan. Did, does she not realize that they abandoned her out there at this point? It's payback for leaving us in the woods. Is the prank killing them? The wood Papa that, that Papa collected is all stacked up in one place. Gretel's sad there's not much she can do to help. If she could help Papa and Mama just a little bit, we wouldn't be kicked out of the house for sure. Okay, I think she did realize it. It's a well that hasn't been used in years. It's all dried up and crusty. Onitan, why is Gretel's family so poor? Because we poor. Mama said, that if, Mama said that if we had a lot of money, we'd be really happy. Wouldn't it be nice if we could make lots of money? Money doesn't buy you happiness, kids. The lights in the house are not lit. Papa and Mama are probably already asleep. Not caring that we were running ourselves ragged in the middle of a forest. 
Gretel can hear Papa snoring. Is Mama sleeping too? It looks like no one will say welcome back to us. That seems lonely. Alright, I guess we go in. Thanks to the pebbles guiding their way, the two of them were able to make it back home safely. However, the nightmare was not over. Even though they came back, the situation of this family hadn't changed. At the limit of hunger, the woodcutter and his wife decided to take the children into the woods again. When Hansel learned that the two of them were plotting again, he tried again to slip out through the window and collect pebbles. But to his surprise, it was locked, and so he couldn't collect them. As he headed deep into the forest, instead of pebbles, he tore out small pieces of his bread and dropped it on the road. They arrived back in the deep, deep forest, a different, more dangerous area than before. Hansel and Gretel had been collecting twigs. Now go, and wait by the fire so you won't get cold. Papa and Mama are going to wait out, are going out to chop some wood nearby, okay? The woodcutter's wife told them to rest by the fire again. Hansel and Gretel were tired and they fell asleep by the warm fire. Why not just say no? Just say no. Be like, I'm out, bro. I'm out, bruh. When they woke up, it was completely dark. The woodcutter and his wife were nowhere to be seen. The children were left alone in the woods, just as the woodcutter's wife had planned. Papa and Mama are gone. They left us behind again? Onitan, what should we do? Gretel's scared. It's all right, don't worry, said Hansel, patting Gretel on the head. I wonder when this is gonna get fucked up and not just K-Kona. Well, I hope the fucked up isn't K-Kona. Oh, that would be terrible. Yes, as he walked through the forest, Hansel had put down the breadcrumbs to act as markers. Wow, you're so amazing. Onitan is Gretel's hero. Following the markers, the two of them decided to leave the forest. Okay, so we're back, we're back to this again. It'll be alright, we just need to follow the markers like before, right? Are you alright? Don't worry, I mean, we just need to follow Onitan's markers this time too. You know, if Onitan's here, Gretel won't be scared no matter where she goes. Cringe. As long as she's with Onitan, Gretel doesn't mind if we go back to that house. I look different. I rummage around the bushes. There doesn't seem to be anything useful. Watch your step. Papa said that he once saw a snake in the forest. He said that if you step on the snake, it might bite and kill you with poison. That... isn't it venom? That's scary. Gretel doesn't want to be poisoned to death. Proceed onwards? Indubitably. In the dark forest, many trees are standing in a row. It's very creepy, but I feel safer... Uh, with Gretel here with me. Hey, there seems to be someone standing over there. No, it's not my imagination. There's some... definitely somebody out there. Maybe there's someone living deep in the forest. Uh... that's... Not good? The breadcrumbs I dropped are lying on the trail. Good. Like this, we can re we can return home today as well. Gretel's starting to get a little hungry. Can we pick up this bread and eat it? Ew, it's been on the floor. No, you can't eat it. That's gross. God, didn't you learn any manners in the middle of the forest? Huh? Onitan, this is bad. There's no bread. Why? Did somebody eat it? I bet these two ate it. Oh no, the breadcrumbs that Hansel dropped had become food for the small birds. The bird did eat it. Eat the bird! Hansel and Gretel were now truly lost, and were puzzling over which one was the correct route. From here on, you must play Hansel's role and lead the way. Ah, it's the bunny! Usa provides save points for the nation. Care to save? Onitan, since we're here, why don't we save? Even if Onitan dies later on, we can always start over- Okay, that's breaking some fourth walls that I'm not comfortable with there, girly. I'm stuffed. Hey, Onitan, this bird must have eaten all the bread. Ah, it's those two from the last time. Weird that the bird talks. Gretel knew it. Should have gone with the grilled chicken last time. Oh, those teeth! Oh, she's got the shark teeth, boys. Maybe it's not too late for that? Oh, chicken's scared. Okay, I guess we just gotta pick a path and hope for the best. Good adventures go left. Why do all the paths look the same to Gretel? Can we really get out of here? No, we're gonna die. But if we stay here, Gretel can stay with Onitan forever. But Gretel doesn't want to die here. Okay, then we won't. The forest is buzzing with noise, as if trying to scare us. You know, you Kano W, sometimes the shadows of trees look like ghosts. 
Why? Is it because Gretel is scared? Even though Gretel has Oniton besides her. Yikes. She's too into her brother, man. This is weird. There are no footprints on the trail. There are no animals living in the forest. Um, Gretel needs to go pee. Then fucking go pee. Oh, wait. Proceed onwards. Yes. Did we find our way home already? This looks familiar. Ah, it's a flower field. Gretel wants to bring back some flowers to Mama. Huh. Then Gretel will get scolded again. That's why... They don't want us anymore. Oh, 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 that's so sad. The flowers are blooming. I believe the name of the flower is Jasmine. Mama taught me that a long time ago. Hi, the flowers are so pretty and cute, but Riddle just can't seem to pick flowers and play with them like usual. Picking flowers is the same as killing them, isn't it? Riddle's starting to understand how flowers feel. Interesting. It was dark, and it was difficult to see into the distance. Right now, the only thing I can rely on is the faint light of the moon. You're not very motivated today, are you, Mr. Moon? Maybe even Mr. Moon doesn't like Gretel anymore. Oh, you're not going to hate Gretel too, are you? Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> no. Proceed onwards? Yeah. Hmm? I can't find Gretel. She was just here a while ago. Where in the world did she go? Bro, wasn't she squeezing the shit out of my hand or something? Like, how'd she get lost? Maybe she went to go pee. I look all around, but I couldn't see her figure. I wonder if she's taking care of business somewhere else. Taking care of business. Uh, let's see here. There's no footprints on the trail or in the grass that could be Gretel's. Don't tell me. I'm the one who left her behind. I decided to go back the way I came. I turned around and stopped in my tracks. I don't know the way I came. I think I've completely lost my way. Gretel, just where did you go? I try to search all over the forest. But I can't find her. She's nowhere to be found. Don't tell me you've gone off somewhere without me. That idiot. Didn't you say we'd always be together? Proceed onwards? Yes. Ooh. This looks fucking weird. Is that from the morning sun, like, rising? Or is that something else? There's a flower field. Not only the jasmines that I saw earlier, but other colorful flowers were starting to bloom. Hydrangea, daffodil, ivy. <laughs> that's a reference. 100% that's a reference, bro. What? Those are the only ones I knew. I'm sure Gretel would have loved to see them. As expected, there were no footprints left on the trail. It rained three days ago, and there's no sign of anyone in the vicinity. Gretel might not be ahead. However, even if I try to turn back... I don't even know the way I came from. I don't know which way to turn anymore. I'm hungry, and my consciousness is fading. It was getting even darker. The more I walked, the more I feel I'm being lured deeper into the forest. I wonder how Gretel is doing. She's probably crying right now because she got separated from me. I'm worried. I strain my ears to hear the sound of her crying, but all I can hear are the leaves swaying in the wind. I walked and walked, but I couldn't find Gretel. I feel like I've been going around in circles for a while now. As if lured in by something, I went deeper and deeper into the forest. There could be something out there. It could be a better future than right now. Although, in any case, such a convenient thing doesn't exist. There's no future for me without Gretel. I was walking aimlessly when I stumbled over something and fell down. A familiar blue ribbon was tangled around my feet. This belongs to Gretel. I looked everywhere for her, but she was not there. Maybe she's already... A deep despair fills my head. I'm so hungry and weak, I can't even walk anymore. I stopped and sat down at the base of a large tree waiting for it to end. I... I decided on that day that I would protect Gretel, but in the end, I'm sitting here pathetically, unable to protect anybody. I wonder how many days have passed. This life of mine, born unwanted, is now about to end. Soon, death is beckoning for me. I held Gretel's ribbon tight. I, I love, I loved you. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you at the very end, Gretel. Platonic love, by the way. No, no you know, no Kekonas. I gently closed my eyes and fell asleep. True end. Lost in the forest. That's the true ending. Okay, I guess I got the true ending immediately.
good shit? Question mark? All right, so we went middle left last time. Let's go left left this time. Hey, Onitan, what does death feel like? Does that mean Gretel's not going to be here anymore? It's strange, isn't it? You know, if Gretel is together with Onitan, Gretel isn't scared of death. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. You died la You died just a couple minutes ago. Howl. In the distance, the howling of wolves can be heard. If we run into a wolf, we'll be in trouble. We've got to be careful. I heard a woof woof. Can we eat woof woof? Gretel is so hungry. Man, Gretel wants to eat everything, dude. Are woof woof scary? Yes. Don't worry, Gretel will stick to you, okay? It, yeah, then we both get eaten. White flowers are blooming in the meadow. It's a small, pretty flower. What's its name again? What, what a cute flower. Don't worry, I won't pick you up, Mr. Flower. I'm just looking. Because although the flowers that Gretel picks, they all wither up. It's so sad. It's hard to call this a path. It's just bare brown earth. Huh? The dirt's kind of soft here. Gretel knows what it is. It's called clay, right? Sure. Seed onwards. Is that a cave? There are tall weeds growing here. I found a ladybug perched on one of their leaves. Ah, it's Miss Ladybug. The dots are so cute. Gretel wants to eat them. <gasps> you want to eat the black dots? Don't you think so too, Onitan? We still haven't arrived home yet. Are we really going to the Are we really going the right way? Gretel's getting a little bit worried. As I gazed blankly at the cliff face, something jumped out at me. Uh, it was a surprise, but it was just a bug. <laughs> it tickles. Man, those teeth are scary. Onitan, so cute. Proceed onwards. Hmm? Gretel's not here. Did we get separate? How? How? I'm sure we went into the cave together. Where did she go? Don't tell me. She's playing a prank on me. You're trying to scare me, but it's no use. What a laughable joke. The inside of the cave is damp and gloomy. Just, where's Gretel gone? I've looked everywhere for her, but I can't find her. Proceed onwards? Yes. Who are you? The next thing Hansel knew, a girl in a black robe was standing in front of him. Why is this music just crying epic journey right now? Why are you here? Isn't there a saying in the village that you shouldn't enter this forest? Hansel explained the situation to the girl. The girl nodded her head and looked at Hansel with eyes that seemed to see through everything. So you're not from the village, then how did you sneak in here? So you've been abandoned, poor thing. Hey, do you want to get out of this forest? The future you want may not be there, but you still want to get out? Yeah, I still want to get out, but I want to find my sister. I see. Then you can go and see how it ends, the desire you wish for. There's a small trail in the woods up ahead that should lead you straight to the exit. Now, go. The girl said that and disappeared into the forest. Hansel went straight down the path just as the girl had said. It felt like an eternity for him, who had lost, her, who had lost Gretel. Then, he suddenly sees something and starts running. What in the world? At the end of the road, he, he saw a familiar house. No way. What? Did the cultist girl bring him back to his house? I... I wanted to come back here together with Gretel. If it were true, she would be right here next to me. Why did it come to this? Open the door? As Hansel was about to open the door, he heard the sound of laughter from inside the house. Congratulations, it was a big success. There's no Hansel to get in the way anymore. Now we just have the right amount of mouths to feed. Well done, Gretel, well done. Poor Gretel, how hard it must have been for you to abandon your brother. Really, what an awful thing to go through. <gasps> oh. No, it's okay, as long as Papa and Mama are happy, Gretel can do anything. Oh. That stings. Oh, she's looking right at me. Oh, 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 scary. No, that's scary. Hi. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> that laugh, dude. Okay, that was also a true ending. Okay. So, what if we don't want to get out of the forest? I guess so. I think that's good, too. But, what should I do? I... I think I know what you I think I know what you're going to do. Think about it. What is it that your loved one really wants? The girl said that and disappeared into the forest.
Ansel continued to wander through the forest, alone. How many days has he been walking? Ansel was so exhausted that he could barely remember who he was. A few days after he met the girl, at last, his long journey had come to an end. Yeah, I'm sure. She's hiding somewhere trying to prank me, right? If I'm right, then say it! It's not possible for Gretel to disappear. We've been together since birth. We've always been good friends. Above all, she's my beloved little sister. Into the house. Oh, he looks scuffed. Yo. What up, Mom? What up, Dad? My man! Alright, now this is the ending. Let's go! Now. Now I've avenged Gretel. Serves you right. I watched as the blood trickled down from Papa's axe. And then I lifted it up again. Ooh. Oh. I'm coming to you, Gretel. Because I don't want to be in a place like this. A world without Gretel is boring. Oh, he offed himself. True end. Revenge. Are all the endings true? I think all the endings are just going to be true. Okay. So before the path home, I believe, was the far right one. So let's do the middle right one and see where it gets us now. Are you sure you want to go this way? Yes. The footprints of a large animal are well preserved in the soil. Uh-oh. Is this a bear's footprint? Is it nearby? What do we do? Gretel's going to be eaten. Go back. I don't see anything unusual in the grass. Gretel has been thinking lately. It feels like someone's been watching us for a while now. It's probably that girl in the forest, to be honest. The trees are rustling and swaying eerily. Hmm? I think I felt the presence of a person inside the forest. Wasn't there someone over there just now? That's weird. Is it just Gretel's imagination? No, I think that's the black cloaked, like, girl, to be honest. Gretel's already at her limit of hunger. Onitan, your tummy's also been growling for a while now. Would you like to eat Gretel's hand? Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? It might not be very delicious, though. Bro, what the hell? When I took my eyes off of her for a moment, Gretel was happily picking flowers. She's picking them in this route. Gretel wants to live in this forest forever, because that way we can live together forever without Papa and Mama getting in our way. <laughs> Here. I made a flower crown. I'll give it to you, Onitan. Okay. The other two routes, she didn't want to pick the flowers because she felt bad for them. This one, she just went straight for it. The wind is picking up. It's nighttime and it's a little chilly. Onitan, why are you in such a hurry? There's no way we could be happy even if we go back to that house. It doesn't matter what happens to Papa and Mama anymore. Ooh, that sinister smile. Bro, sister's fucked up. There are footprints of small animals in the soil. Could it be the white rabbit from earlier? Papa and Mama have dinner already? And are sleeping in a warm bed right now? The two of us... Uh, the two of them abandoned Gretel. Even if we could go home again, we couldn't talk like we used to. That's so sad. That is so sad. She's just so, like, okay with it, too. And that makes it, like, even sadder for some reason. <laughs> A hatchet is stuck in the thick stump. It looks like Papa's, but it's different. So there's other wood other woodcutters than Papa. Gretel didn't know that. Hey, the sacks. Why don't we take it? It might come in handy. Alright. Dude, whenever she gives that toothy smile, that shit's scary, man. Oh, Nitan. <laughs> Gretel just wanted to call out to you. Love you. <laughs> oh, don't say that with that smile, man. <laughs> Oh, that's creepy. You're gonna eat me. There's a stump just big enough for one person to sit on. Chopped wood was gathered in the corner. Whew. Somehow Gretel feels a bit tired. Gretel will just sit on the stump over there and rest. Onitan, why don't you take a break together? Looks like this is where the woodcutters do their work. Maybe Papa comes here to cut wood. Papa and Mama, aren't you sad that you gre left Gretel behind? You really don't feel anything at all, huh? Oh, man. Alright, we proceed. Are we gonna lose her again? Is she gonna, like, sit on the stump? No, she's actually coming with us. The lake is filled with crystal clear water. Water might be okay for us to drink. Ah, Onitan. Gretel's been to this lake before. Pond. 
Gretel went to this lake with Mama to fetch water. The short grass is making a rustling sound as it sways. Ah, air is so good here. Ha! Were you surprised? Gretel tried to scare you. <laughs> Onitan's frightened face is funny. Not funny, Gretel. At the end of the forest, there was an open clearing. The sun is shining on the surface of the lake, making it sparkle. Wow, it's like a fantasy. It's like Onitan and Gretel have wandered into another world. Let's just run away like this, just the two of us, as far away as we can. You know, with parents like theirs, I really don't blame her for saying that. Like, to be honest. Proceed onwards? Yes. <gasps> no, it's the candy house! Wow, amazing! What a cute house over there! And it smells so good! Oh, it's the actual Hansel and Gretel story! Oh no, this is bad. I know exactly what's going to happen. Who lives here, Onitan? Let's take a peek. I hope we murder the old lady. In the middle of the forest, there's a cute little house standing all by itself. A soft, sweet scent drifts through the air. Rumble. My stomach rubble rumbled modestly. Onitan, you're hungry too. That house smells so good. Maybe there's food in there. Let's go, Onitan. It's a good thing there's a house here. Thank goodness. Gretel doesn't want to get caught in the rain anymore. It's so good to sleep somewhere with a roof over your head. It's a very pretty house. It's not very big, so it doesn't look like anyone lives there. Hey, look, Onitan, this house made of candy, see? Amazing! Is Gretel dreaming? Come here, Onitan, quickly, quickly, let's eat together! Try eating the candy house? Yes. Damn, look at that fucking nose! Bro! She's got a she got a worse side profile than me. Like, bruh. See a resemblance? <laughs> All I need is a hood. <laughs> Who's that eating my house without permission? Uh You scared us, Granny. Who are you? I live in this house all by myself. Oh no, she's got shark teeth too. Bruh, that's not good. You came just at the right time to kill my boredom, so come on in. I have sweets, juice, fruit, everything. You children must be hungry, you know? Really? Thanks, Granny. Thank goodness, Onitan. She's going to treat us. I have a bad, bad feeling about this. When they enter the house, the old woman offered them drinks and sweets. Come on, eat up. There's seconds as well. When they were full, they fell asleep in the soft bed Granny had prepared for them. The old woman smiles at Hansel and Gretel's sleeping faces. <laughs> Which one shall I eat first? Been a long time since I've had a treat. The granny was a cannibal witch. While he was asleep, she locked Hansel up in a big bird cage. Granny knocked on Gretel and yelled at her. How long are you going to sleep? I have prepare, pre prepare a pot to boil your brother in. Oh my goodness. Sadly, Gretel had to help with the process of cooking Hansel. Gretel was so sad that she could hardly move. Gretel, why are you dilly-dallying about? How long are you going to keep your mouth shut? Give me a break. Ugh, don't worry about the pots. Just go into the stove and watch over it. Granny, you know Gretel doesn't know how to light the stove. What a silly little girl you are. Look. This is how you do it. Watch me. She's gonna push Granny into the stove. Bro, she's gonna push Granny in the stove? <laughs> the old woman then sticks her head into the stove. At that moment, Gretel took the opportunity and pushed the woman as hard as she could. God damn! Bro, she's savage, bro! <laughs> Let's go, sister. The old woman fell into the fire, screamed, and burned to death. There's only room for one shark tooth girdle in this anime. <laughs> Foolish granny. <laughs> Gretel won't let you eat Onitan. After burning the witch to death, Gretel ran to Hansel, who was locked in the big bird cage. Relax, that annoying old lady is gone now. Once Hansel was able to get out of the bird cage, he hugged Gretel tightly. Oh, Onitan. <laughs> so happy. Gretel did her best for Onitan, you know. There were many treasures inside this strange house made of candy. Hansel stuffed as much of it as he could into his pockets. As he opened the door to bring back as he opened the door to bring it back to Papa and Mama. Onitan, where are you going? 
No, this treasure is for Onitan and Gretel to live here forever. Gretel won't let you take it back to Papa and Mama. Because we don't have to go back to that house anymore, remember? Why won't you listen to Gretel? Why are you looking away? Do you not like Gretel? Oh, is she gonna kill me now? That's not true. See, Onitan loves Gretel too. Loves her very much, right? Gretel believes in you, Onitan. Don't betray Gretel, alright? <laughs> There's no one to get in our way now. So let's make love together all the time. No! 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 Please, please just say that's bad phrasing. No! No, please say that's bad phrasing. <laughs> After defeating the terrible witch, Ansel and Gretel lived happily ever after in the House of Sweets. <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> bad ending? Hell yeah, it's a bad ending. Bro, it was going so badass and then it turned into that. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> What do you mean question mark bad end? Yes, it's a bad end. What do you mean question marks? Oh, dude, no. Oh, god, dude. <laughs> oh, I, I was a I was like going through this. I was like half expecting that to happen at some point, and then it did. And I didn't want it to happen, but it happened. Oh, oh no, no. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm so thoroughly disgusted. Better than death? No, it's not better than death. I would have rather died. Yeah, I'm the minority that doesn't want to have sex with my little sister. Yeah, because I'm weird for that, right? All right, we got one more path to go. So we're going to go to the far right. And that one is the one that last time led us back to home, I believe. So this one should lead us back home. Or, well, I mean, they're in a different part of the forest, so maybe not, but we'll find out. Are you sure you want to go this way? Once you go, you can't go back. My foot's falling asleep. Some footprints continue along the trail. They seem to belong to humans as well as animals. Huh? Why are there footprints in this place? Maybe somebody's here. Maybe Yonitan and Gretel will be rescued. The wind is blowing, but the weeds did not yield to it. If anything approaches us, we're sure to know. Papa said a long time ago in the middle of the forest he saw a bear. Did you know that? He said that if you see one, be quiet and don't look away. If you look away, it'll chase you. And then it'll eat you right down to the bones. It's so scary. You're the scariest thing here, Gretel. You're the scariest thing in this fucking forest. <laughs> hey, Onitan. You know, Gretel has been thinking a bit. For sure, going home is a bad idea. You know Papa and Mama's threw us out because we're a bother to them, right? <laughs> Gretel's an unwanted child, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, she is. So am I. The trees in the forest are rustling and swaying in the wind. With a creaking, eerie sound, it's like they're trying to pry on our fears. Maybe some ghosts will come out. Just kidding. That's a lie. Onitan, were you scared? Proceed onwards? Yes. Oh, we're at the cave again. This is going to be a different cave. Tall weeds are growing here. It's as if they're trying to block our way. Hey, hey, Onitan. My shoes are all torn up from walking too much. Let's take a break soon. Is there a good spot around here? Could go in the cave. What awaited us was a very tall wall of rock. A dead end. What should we do? Hey, Onitan. Do you think we should go back the way we came? But Gretel isn't the type of person to look back, but to move forward instead. What about you, Onitan? I mean, if we don't have a choice, we don't have a choice, right? Oh, look, look, Onitan, there's a cave over there. I wonder if somebody lives inside. Come on, Onitan, let's go in. All right, let's go in. Yeah, so it seems like the right paths, I don't lose Gretel, but the left paths, I seem to have lost Gretel every time. This cave is just right. Let's get some rest here. Gretel's feeling a bit tired. Let's rest for a bit. You wouldn't leave Gretel all alone, Onitan. You're right. The cave is damp. The pitter-patter of dripping water echoes from somewhere. It's a little shabby, but it'll keep us- it'll keep the wind and rain away. Alright, Gretel has thought of something good. Let's not go home anymore. Gretel and Onitan, the two of us can live here together. Hey, isn't that a good idea? 
Honestly, it might almost be a better idea than going home with how their parents are. Proceed onwards? Yes. Look, Onitan, there's a house over there. Gretel wants to rest in that house right now. If it's empty, Gretel will turn it into her house. Is it almost dawn? I think the sky is getting a little brighter. How long have I been walking in this forest? My feet are exhausted. Whew. Gretel's getting really sleepy. The footprints look like they lead into the house. Gretel wasn't imagining things when she saw those figures earlier. Isn't Gretel amazing? Hehehe. <laughs> Lead onwards? Yes. There was a small hole in the wall of the mysterious house. Gretel was peering through the hole with great interest. Onitan, look! There's lots of people! And everybody seems happy! Why does she look so psycho looking into that hole? Hearing this, Hansel did the same thing and peeked into the hole. There were many naked men and women- <gasps> No! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> orgy! A oh, forest orgy! Everyone seems to be having fun dancing an unknown dance! They're wrestling! As Hansel gazed into the scene, color drained from his face immediately. He felt that what was happening in this house was abnormal. I've seen something that I shouldn't have. Hansel felt uncomfortable, so he pulled Gretel's hand away from the place. However, Gretel was entranced by the scene inside the house and refused to move. Onitan, this house seems so delightful. Hey, let's go in, okay? Even though he said no, Gretel wouldn't listen, and then, just when Hansel was about to be fed up, to their surprise, the door opened and a man came out. Well, 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 my little visitors, you shouldn't be here. What are you doing out here in this place? Gretel's been looking at this house because it looks fun. Is it okay to go in and play? <laughs> what a lovely young lady. You're welcome, come on in. I'm sure they'll all be glad to have some company. Oh no! Gretel walked happily into the house, the man taking her by the hand. And you? What will you do? The man asked Hansel. As soon as the man start stared at him with eyes like a snake, Hansel, Hansel got scared and began running. Hansel ran through the forest until he was exhausted. Hansel continued running, fell down, got covered in mud, and screamed. Eventually, completely exhausted, he slipped away into the bushes and burst into tears. How could he have let this happen? He blamed himself. As he tried to catch his breath, suddenly he heard the voice of his beloved person. Han? Oni Tan? Hansel slowly opened his eyes and, to his astonishment, Gretel was standing right there in front of him. Oni Tan, you know... Gretel had something she really needs to tell you, Onitan. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is scary. Why did you abandon Gretel? Didn't you say we'll be together forever? Liar, 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 liar. Oh, 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 oh shit. <laughs> that is fucking scary. What the? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that got me right there, dude. Holy shit! <laughs> that scared the shit out of me! <laughs> that was so loud! <laughs> My god, dude! Okay, so kind of like from left to right, it went from the least like horrid ending to the most horrid ending. So, like, it went from, like, we lost our sister, and then we ended up just, like, murdering the parents, or we we found out that, like, Gretel was, like, dubious the whole time, and the forest lady kind of, like, helped us for some reason. I don't understand who the forest lady is, but I, I don't really know the story of Hansel and Gretel. 100%. So, I mean, maybe if I knew that a little bit deeper, I would understand what the what the uh, significance of that lady in the forest was. Not the old lady, but the other one, the one that helped Hansel. Um, and then once you got onto the right side, like, it was just fucked up and more fucked up. It was like... Oh, the bad end was like fucked up in like a K Kona, Alabama kind of way, and then... The far right was fucked up in like a, that is scary as shit, and I, I almost shit myself kind of way. Uh, <laughs> that was good. Uh, that was good, though. I... Like the fact that there was no way to actually 
get a really good ending, technically. Uh, because that's just kind of the charm of these Sharon novels, so I, I, I just come to expect that when I open them up not to be able to get an actual good ending, like a happy ending. Uh, I mean, unless you consider that bad ending a happy ending. I, I do not. I do not consider that one a happy ending at all. I just consider these all bad, obviously. Stay a virgin. There's really no virginity lesson here, except don't have sex with your sister. Stay a virgin, I guess. <laughs> like, boys. But... <laughs> So, uh, yeah, stay a virgin, boys. Stay a virgin, boys. Don't don't let go of your virginity, otherwise you'll go into a forest full of naked snake men. There you go. There's the lesson. 